Welcome to Buckeye, Arizona for the 2023 Cook Like a Firefighter Challenge sponsored by the Arizona Burn Foundation. I'm here with Corey Wenzel and this year we're going to cook Swedish pancakes. Yes, that's right. Swedish, not Swedish. So this year uh, we're trying to follow up from last year's third and eighth place finish in the Cook Like a Firefighter Challenge. Maybe we can combine our efforts and pull off a victory this year. Corey, of course, finished third last year to my uh, barbecue delight that he got out in front of me. So this year, we're coming on strong. But most importantly, I know what happens when a chief arrives on scene. There's complete chaos. So same in the kitchen, when a chief arrives on scene, I don't want to create chaos. So I'm gonna turn it over to Corey to do the cooking portion. Last year, we had a bet against Chief Rhodes and myself. Uh, whoever won, the loser had to pay 100 bucks towards the Arizona Burn Foundation. This year, he didn't want to lose again, so we're on the same team. However, there's still a bet. The bet this year is if we raise $5,000, Chief Rhodes is going to grow a mustache. So I need you guys to help me gain $5,000 so Chief Rhodes can get a mustache. All right, let's start cooking. I'm not sure all about <laughs> this, Corey. I think the rules are changing here. We're on the same team. But if we don't raise $5,000, we get to shave off some of this luscious facial hair that you have going. Absolutely. We'll shave off my mustache okay. if we don't raise $5,000. I appreciate the challenge, and I'm scared of the challenge. Thank you. Sounds good. And these are the few items that you're going to need for the Swedish pancakes. We'll get started right now. This is going to be one teaspoon of salt we're going to put in here. We're going to do four tablespoons of powdered sugar. All right, two cups of flour, cup and a half of milk, half a cup of oil. Then we got six eggs. So when you're mixing this, you got to make sure that you get it mixed very well. You don't want any clumps. And you want it really, really runny so you can get a really, really thin Swedish pancake. But if you need to add more milk, you can. So now we're gonna make, this is the filling. And it's just gonna be one block of cream cheese, a little vanilla extract, more powdered sugar. And you're just gonna work the cream cheese and the powdered sugar and that vanilla extract together. And then, so you're just gonna watch it, and just like a normal pancake, you'll wait until you start seeing a little bit of bubbles and then the top will start to dry off. Um, and that's when you'll flip it. You don't wanna overcook it because then it doesn't roll very well. So you wanna cook lightly. All right, Arizona, thank you very much for watching us uh, make our Swedish pancakes. Please go out and vote. The money goes towards the Arizona Burn Foundation, which is a great program in Arizona to help people with smoke detectors, um, hearing impaired, to make sure they have the right smoke detectors in their house. Um, go out and vote. Please help me raise $5,000 so I can get a mustache on my chief, um, and I don't have to shave mine. Thank Here you all. Thank you all, and good work, Corey. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. I believe that. Uh, pretty yeah. good. It's Swedish. It's Swedish.